Alright guys, it's Watch So Serious. Uh, gonna show you uh, a bunch of fights next. And then I'm gonna combine them all to make one big video. This is against Skirty. A very good, very respectable uh, Makoto that I caught online uh, late at night. Uh, last night. And uh, he's obviously in the 3000 player point range. And I don't think he plays ranked that much because his numbers kind of don't change that much. So he probably just does endless a lot like me. Oh, he thought he was going to catch me land right in the front. Snug up behind and got the ultra. And uh, yeah, we had uh, a lot of matches together the other night. So I'm going to upload uh, some decent wins that I have. And obviously I'm going to upload some of his decent wins. And one off of a magic Behold pixel the there with the gale sight. kick. Pick up the pace. Uh, so we had a lot of decent fights. And this Makoto, I have seen on the replay channel, and I've seen some of my friends fight uh, previously, but I have yet to fight this Makoto until now. So you know, it's an interesting matchup. It's basically Dan's pressure against Makoto's uh, pressure in ground game. And he knows how to utilize all her tools very well. Uh, messed up right there. Probably thought I was going to go for another Gale Kick or something. Why not? Here's her taunt. And uh, that was probably one of the better fights, better rounds that I had against Skirty. So that's the first one. I'll be showing you more. Alright, hey guys. This is part two of uh, those Makoto fights I said I would be putting up. And it's against Skirty. Yeah, like I said, from the previous fight that I recently uploaded, I'm going to individually upload them and just kind of make one big video when I'm all, uh, all set and done. Uh, so I got a little ways to go because we uh, fought for a while. So um, Yeah, that's one of the things I like. You saw that, that Gale kick. Uh, sometimes it, it whips. But it's not that bad because you're opposite the other side. Uh, got caught in my ultra there. And uh, it's kind of a misleading uh, little misdirection, so you have an opportunity to grab or uh, check something up real fast. That was a nice little combo there. Round two. Oh, uh, my EX kick got stuck. Put it to the grab. Nice combo there. Tried to go for EX. I kind of uh, snuffed that out and I countered with my own EX punch. Uh, playing mind games there. And whenever you get someone in the corner, personally I think you should set up those gale kicks to you know, try to keep them in the corner. Got another one right there. Um, gotta watch Makoto's anti-air. That crouching, uh, not sure what that is. I don't know if it's crouching medium. The inputs are there. Uh, it's really nice. And another Gale Kick. Try to finish the uppercut. And use EX because I wanted to make sure this Nicole was going to die. I didn't want to give her a second chance on life there. And final round. And again with the anti-air. He's like instant with that. So I have to start landing my Gale Kicks properly. I don't get caught with that. And now Makoto got me in the corner. Uh, I thought he was gonna do that move, uh, you know, where she says, Here I come. And that's why I kinda burnt that ultra and whipped it pretty badly. He picked me out right there. And try to do a grab a little bit too far away. And now I'm just getting all kind of neutral jump and countered by uh, anti-airs, all kind of stuff. He's on point right now. And figure I use more Gale Kicks to get in the corner. And hit confirm the cross medium into the crouch Yes, but got caught with another anti-air. I just jumped way too many times in this fight. And good, nice on his part though. Hey guys, why so serious? This is my third video against this Makoto. Let's get started in round one. Here we go. 
right? So they've got those nice straight punches. Ooh, that called an anti-air. And got stuck with another anti-air. And just caught him staring right there twice. And got him with a grab. Went for a new jump into another grab. And I'm just trying to swi uh, switch it up a little bit. Uh, a little bit differently from the last two fights. I'm just basically trying to make this guy work for it. Make him think a little bit. I don't want to get too predictable. And when you got your bread and butter moves and things like that, it can be kind of easy to get predictable, especially when you fight 5, 10, you know, 15 times in a row. Uh, in any case, whatever I did there worked effectively. And like I said, I just wanted him to think a little bit with the uh, just slowly walking up and going for grabs and neutral jumps and things like that. He got me back into the corner, got out with a medium kick, met uh, Makoto in the air, and he's headhunting a little bit for the anti-air attack, and looks like he's getting a little bit aggressive, and he's trying to flip-flop from side to side sometimes, and Miguel kick beat the anti-air that time, now I got Makoto in the corner, just a lot of back and forth, we seem to be matching really well, oh, he missed the EX attack right there, those straight punches are deadly. It's, uh, it's almost like a frame trap, I guess you would say it is. And got caught in the ultra. I did one too many neutral jumps. So, uh, if you do too many neutral jumps, this Makoto's gonna make you pay with that ultra one. So you gotta be careful. And final lap. And this is a uh, attack right there. Got caught in the gale kick. Going for a couple of grabs, just make him think about it. Why not? And he got caught in the uppercut. And right now Makoto is in no man's land. Just gotta keep applying pressure. And just kind of sitting out, waiting to see, wait and see what he's gonna do. And he's trying to set me up, but it's pretty much over. Finish with the EX and make sure that she's gone knocked out. Alright, I'll be putting up more. Thanks for watching, guys. Okay, guys, here we go again. Uh, why so serious? This is uh, part four of my Dan videos versus Skirty's Makoto. And, um, yeah, this is one of the best. Uh, match sets I had in a while. I like competing against uh, high player point, high battle point characters. Obviously, who doesn't? But um, even more so, I like competing against characters that I often usually don't have the privilege to fight against. Uh, you know, ooh, got an ulti right there. You know, not too many people take Makoto that are actually good, so it's uh, it's it's nice to fight somebody who knows what they're doing. And uh, nice setup right there. Finish with the EX. Real nice. Let's keep it up. Fight. No way. And I guess I could say the same thing for him because um, I, I don't know if he has any Gans on his friends list. If he does, it's probably not many. Uh, not many people are willing to uh, take the time out to be disciplined with Gans. Uh, he is fun to use though. I, I love him to death. Uh, not my main or anything crazy like that, but uh, he's definitely a nice alternate when uh, you just want to use somebody else, when you just want to take it a little light and have fun. He's, he's definitely your guy. Oh, oh, try to grab me. I, I saw that coming. That was what it was going to grab me. Oh, God, I thought she could get her hand in the cookie jar and pay the price with the Ultra One from Dan. All right. And here we go, round, final round. Try to grab it again. And that was nice. Interrupted the last hit with the uppercut. And signature move, crouching him into the DX kick. And interrupted again with another uppercut. Don't want to give this Makoto too much momentum. Because she will blow you up really fast. And now you can obviously see Makoto trying to get me in the corner. 
thought he could have been going for another straight punch and uh, missed my ultra. Caught her in the EX though. I'm trying to do a cross up, but this guy, uh, he's not having any of it. And a lot of pressure by Mikoto in the corner. And a backdash uh, medium kick, is it? Or light kick? Very nice. Okay, guys, this is uh, match five here. Against uh, Makoto. And round one, here we go. And already, this Makoto is coming out the gate aggressive and at that point he's on a six uh game win streak uh it took a little while to adjust to a good makoto like i said in earlier fights that i uploaded i don't fight too many good makotos so it took a little while to adjust and in between there was a lot of close fights anyway and you just live and you learn and obviously my Dan is still a work in progress, but I've been pleased to say the least of how far I've come. Um, I just gotta mix up some some better, uh, different kind of combos and mix up my variety. And I'll be watching more Exion 90 videos to try to get my frame trapping skills a little bit better and things like that. Oh, that caught. Yep. Tried to go for an anti-air attack. And I tried to finish with a uh, a high kick, but got caught with the EX at the end. So nice magic pistol win for Makoto. Round two. Rather as she hops to the side, and she got caught with a wake up EX kick to the face. And that was a nice little, little link right right there. The uh, jumping high kick, I guess, into the EX move. And that was just a little frustration on my part. I should have never uh, threw out that ultra. I guess I tried to reenact what happened earlier where she got caught, but that was just bad timing. And you can see Makoto trying to go for those straight punches. Oh, a couple light attacks. That was nice. Missed her grab. I got mine. And tried to get a little tricky there with a try to catch her off guard with the EX well the focus level 3 rather but missed alright and that's it thanks for watching I'll upload the next one alright here we go guys match 6 against this Makoto who will emerge a champion fight and immediately getting to work probably trying to get me in the corner Makoto pressure is so tough sometimes. As you can see, he's definitely done Makoto's trials just based on his inputs. Tried to grab me there and missed. Uh, nice tip on both our parts right there. Caught her in the focus level 3, but she was kind of far away, so I couldn't make anything to it. But still landed the EX kick by itself. Caught her off guard and got the high kick again. And a grab. I gotta be real careful right here, Gale Kick and a Crouching Medium will do it. So that round ended pretty fast. He probably came out a little too aggressive. And it blew up in his face. Sometimes that happens, sometimes it works in your favor and everything goes right. And other times, it's like, it just makes you wonder like, what the hell just happened. So, he's probably gonna take uh, either more precautions or get super aggressive. And it looks like he's getting super aggressive. Uh, got caught the ultra. I had to match it out because uh, he was working on a perfect there. I had to interrupt his uh, momentum. Probably mad about how the last round ended, so he came out with some nice dirty moves. Uh, trapped in the corner again. And straight punches and pokes and crouch moves. That's a good way to confuse your opponent. And now he's kind of just chilling, waiting to see what I'm going to do. Oh, Miss Gale Kick. Flip to the side with the grab. Neutral jump, and he kind of smoked that. Check it out. Back dash got caught with the PX. And a little three hit combo. And that'll stop her in her tracks. Alright, let me up upload the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Alright guys, here's the next video against Makoto. Are you ready? And in this fight, this Makoto just absolutely goes apeshit. And 
I just have no answer for her. Um, eventually, all hell will break loose. And just got into a funk in this round, or in this fight rather. Just got shut down on everything, even the gale kicks weren't working. Uh, you know, I'm gonna land some hits here and there, but nothing truly effective. I just couldn't find any momentum. And he missed a couple things here and there, and I managed to get some grabs off, but that's not gonna save me in the end. Uh, fake drop with a neutral jump. Uh, and I got caught with a grab. And he tried to finish me off with another grab. Missed the DX move. And that chop is just so annoying. I won the round, barely. And round two, here we go. And when Makoto does those ground slaps and ground punches, sometimes he fakes me out. He'll do uh, he'll do a couple of them to charge meter, and then he'll do a DX move and dash straight punch on me. So I have to be more careful of that. But the more I fight him, the more technology I'll learn to go. Oh, got out of there dizzy. He took too long. He should have used his super. I guess he wants to save meter for the last round. And finish me off anyway. But that's the thing. You don't want to give Dan too much time when he's dizzy. He will surprise you. I, I've beaten a couple people in ranked matches. Where they uh, lollygag around while I'm dizzy. And then they pay the ultimate price. And they get blown up when I wake up from dizzy. And he is just being real technical, pushing me every time I jump. Uh, got me dizzy again, and the super is charged. Went the ultra, because at this point, I'm just getting tore up. And got the perfect, so very nice. By Skirty. Alright guys, here's the next fight against Makoto. And here's my Dan again. And at this point, we've uh, we've had some hard-fought battles. Um, very, very interesting fights. So I was fortunate enough to fight him this many times because it's just it's given me an idea of what a good Makoto likes to do. And so if I fight a different Makoto online, whether it's ranked or endless. I have a better idea of how to kind of manage instead of a, kind of making stuff up as I go on the fly. Now I have a better idea of what to do. Oh, and that gill kick just stuffed the EX hand punch to the ground. My time has come. All right. What will happen now? So here we go, round two. Yeah, and the next time I find him online, I'll probably try to use my other characters that I like to use, like maybe Vega or Dawson, Bison or Rose. So in case anyone's wondering who else I like to use, those are the characters. And a couple other fighters have probably piqued my interest that I want to start to train with. Uh, Hakan is one of them, and maybe Dudley. So I'm going to try to expand my knowledge of characters a little bit more more than five I guess so just look out for that I'll be adding more commentary in my videos as well oh and the EX Genki Kaku is stuck with a ultra completely caught me off guard I was gonna EX even if I if it would have landed had Makoto not ultra I would most likely chip and got the win but instead we take it to the final round so that really messed me up in the head. I thought I had that match pretty much won. And now I have to go through this again in another round. It's kind of like starting all over when just when you think you've got, you've got it in the bag. And he's just on point with some of these moves now. Oh, nice kick. I knew he was going to try to link it, but he probably put the inputs too late. Uh, he got a random EX move there that he missed. Nice cross up and the finish with the EX move. Brow punch. Alright, I'm gonna post probably one more fight. Thanks for watching, guys. Alright, guys. This is the uh, last fight, I guess. Let's get started! 
And uh, here we go again. And that's a good little technique for Dan to uh, backdash and act like he's running away and then come right back with a kick. And you see some Gale kick action in the corner. Missed the EX kick, tried to catch him with a surprise uppercut and missed. Uh, sometimes I purposely will burn my EX bar just to get to the other side real fast and, gra and do a su surprise grab. Um, and now I'm just getting a little carried away. But it's working, and three straight crouching mediums uh, missed two and got her on the third one. I knew she was going to try to get out of that corner sooner or later. So my persistence paid off with a one, two, three, and got her on the third try. And I missed that up pretty badly. So I try my best not to with too many of them if I can help it. I'd rather personally burn an EX bar because Dan's recovery is so fast from the EX kick that it's it's not completely safe, but it's a lot better than this on the uppercut. And Dalton Cody is going to come in again and just with the ultra. Got beat pretty badly. Alright, and final round. Caught me with a surprise. Uh, EX move at the opening of the round. Oh, and got the focus level 2. Couldn't really do much afterwards. And now I'm just trying to reset myself to think about what I want to do. Got caught. And got a, a little sweep in there, which is rare. I personally don't like using the sweep that much at all. Oh, caught in the EX move, and my game's there, uh-oh, got in the grab, and I'm crouching me on that miss, but the EX kicked the link, and that's it, thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed, leave your comments, and hit like if you liked it.